you know, unfortunately, the first one really should have had him out of that spot. He'd make a play defensively to not even have uh, that batter come to the plate in that particular situation. And, you know, it, it's been pretty consistent. If, uh, if we don't make some of the plays we need to make, that uh, they end up hurting us. And that, uh, that hurt him the first time around. And then, you know, he was really rolling. And, um, got to a point where he was throwing probably as as good as uh, we needed him to and um, in a couple singles and got himself into a, a deep count with a guy that's uh, seeing the ball right now and the ball, ball jumped for him. But it wasn't a bad pitch on the second home run, but um, just got himself into a count where he had to challenge him. It's kind of uh, going to be a deceiving line for him, isn't it? I mean, you, you mentioned uh, like innings two through five, he was as good as it gets. Yeah, retired, I don't know, was it? nine in a row or so, but uh, a couple walks um, ended up hurting him too in some situations where I know he's trying to be a little more aggressive, but overall, I thought he found a good rhythm. He, he got he got a, bit, a little better feel right at the top. He didn't have much of a feel for his slider. I mean, he, he kept bouncing it short and you know, it was almost a pitch that uh, and it had enough it had enough of uh, side movement on it too that they were giving up on it early and he didn't really get many swings and misses to make him respect his fastball more. So uh, he was basically pitching kind of with his heater early on. And then uh, the slider came along and thought he did a better job moving it both with the two seamer and the four. But, uh, you know, we just we just couldn't get anything going offensively either. And, um, you know, that just didn't give him any space to, to have room to wiggle. Yeah, just one of those days offensively again where, uh, like you said, couldn't generate much until the ninth. Yeah, you know, it's uh, you know, that's obviously um, you know a frustrating day for for our offense when you see you know, we may have had close to ten pop ups on the infield and um, you know you walk out of a, a very hitter friendly park uh, with really one guy walking out of here with home runs all the day but you know not necessarily coming in trying to capitalize on on power as much as putting good at bats together but you know um, made one mark with a double move him over get him in thought we had a little momentum going. Um, and then, you know, you hope you, you can continue that going. And then next thing you know, you'll get a ball jump out of the park like they've experienced this series, but uh, couldn't get it. Hey, Mike, you, you mentioned the pop-ups. I was just curious for you, is that um, an indicator of guys just not seeing it well or just being a little over-aggressive? Uh, what, what is that um, in your mind? Then? No, it wasn't. I mean, you... You're seeing that a lot first pitch. They're just not, not squaring it up. They don't see a guy well enough. And, uh, you know, I... I don't know what exactly to attribute it. It's, just, it's, it's pretty rare to see that many of that. It's not like they were high pop-ups or fly balls to the outfield, um, but we just weren't finding the barrel today. And, you know, the, we want them aggressive. I'm never going to sit here and tell you, you know, they were too aggressive. If it's a good pitch that they can drive, they need to be aggressive. And we're not afraid of them putting the ball in the air either. Um, but uh, obviously we need to, to shorten up to the point where we find the good, good part of the battle on the ball and uh, couldn't find it today. Anybody else, guys? Yeah, uh, speaking of aggressive, Mondesi, uh, base running in the first inning. I know you guys want um, him aggressive. Uh, what did you make of his decision there? You know, you're not going to steal bases if you're not aggressive and if you don't take chances, but they have to be educated um, decisions, and it was. He had an idea of how many looks he was trying to get the pitcher to commit to before he tried to take the base. Um, obviously, when you get to, to two outs, you know you're in scoring position already, but you also put a different level of pressure by being on third. You're talking about a potential for an, in, an infield hit, your potential to maybe take away a secondary pitch that they might bounce in the dirt, and you know he's going to score. Uh, so, you know, you, you're going to live by the sword, you're going to die by the sword when you talk about base stealing. And Mondi has had an uh, incredible um, success rate, and we, we know he's going to continue to do that. We can't let off he when when he gets on base he's going to continue to hunt them unless it's a it's a radical situation as far as the score goes and then we'll shut him down but for the most part he's got to keep hunting them or else he'll lose his edge